got it. So yeah. just straight Here forward. They Here they come. One, two. Step. What's that? Mind the step. Oh, another, oh, another pair of goggles. Okay. Here he comes. And then. Maximo in the floor. Uh, <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Uh, yes, we are about to shoot. Hello, Rob. <laughs> uh, our final video of Rob's uh, April shoot with Andertons and. I thought, in true William Shakespeare style, the video should be telly or not telly. I reckon this could be an April Fool's video. Uh, it's not an April Fool's video. It is telly yeah. or not telly. That's that what you'd is say. the question. So <laughs> there are nine uh, guitars listed on my board here. All of them follow a theme uh, in that they have a very Fender Telecaster-ish esque shape, rather. Uh, however, as you can see from the list, they are not all. Fenders. Uh, the list is completely jumbled up so that it doesn't go in price order or anything like that. There is, it is a completely random nature. And I will pass each guitar to Rob. Uh, he will play it and score it out of 10, say something deep and meaningful, as is the way. I will write it on here. And I think in, in uh, homage to the title of this video, uh, he has to say, it's a telly or it's not a telly, i.e. Right. can he tell a Fender one apart from a non Also, am one? I still using the Pink Taco? Yes. Okay, good. Good. And I have a uh -huh. Wampler Tumnus pedal on the floor in front of me, which I shall be in charge of. Um, so you just say, give me some gain. Okay, can you I... just remind me of the script again? Yeah, basically the idea is that when I cough, that'll be the dearest one, and that's the okay. one you say is the best. Okay? <laughs> All right, yeah, no problem. <laughs> um, <coughs> what was I going to say? Um... Yes, the rules for this engagement are that I will plug the thing in. I think looking at all these guitars, let's just have a look at sort of like knob and switch placement. Uh, oh. oh, all but one. I think it would be completely fair for you to do whatever you like yourself. That's a drag, isn't it? Well, look, I tell you what, I think. What do you think, audience? Plug him in and give him to me, man. Should we just let him fiddle, or should we just ban him from touching knobs and switches? What's the shake of the head, Rabir? Banned from touching? Deny the fiddle. Deny the fiddle. Okay, in which case then, I am going to just give you the guitar on the bridge pickup, and you have to ask me, um, effectively, to change anything you want. So here comes the first guitar. Oh my God. There you are, <laughs> sir. Okay, so uh, the volume should be up. Can I change the pickups then? <laughs> Neck pickup. Okay, thanks. <laughs> playing on the guitar, but it feels like it's a Fender to me. Do you want more gain and bridge pickup? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm happy as I am. Yeah, play, plays really good. Um, oh, man. Yeah, change pickups again. Sorry, did you hurt yourself? No, it's okay. Over 40 seconds with no extra gain. Are you? Yeah, I really like it. Good. I, I must uh, take. I this think away it's from a you. Fender. Good for you. Telly. <laughs> uh, definitely a Telecaster, and uh, probably Fender. 
And a score out of 10, please, monsieur. Well, it was lovely. I'd give that an 8.3. Wow. Uh, so I've written, uh, happy as I am, defo offender, it was lovely. It was lovely, 8.3. Excellent. OK. Let's put this over. I like to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Next, guitar. It's a very different kind of neck shape. It's uh, it's not. It doesn't feel like a Fender at all. Can you change the pickup for me. Yes, of course I can, sir. <laughs> neck pickup. Oh. Well, that's not. So maybe maybe it is a fender, maybe it's one of those. Um, so that's a humbucker, so it's either gotta be It's not a telecaster, so it's gotta be one of the other brands. Do you want to go back to the bridge pickup? No. Okay. It's kind of, it's kind of shreddy too. Um, so I need a score and a, is it a telly or isn't it a telly? It's a Schecter to do a T-type. I'm not saying anything. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go, it's either a, like a Schecter or an ESP, or it's one of those kind of Japanese-owned tellies with a humbucker in it kind of vibe. Not the Schecter's Japanese-owned, but you know what I mean. It's, I know it's what you like, mean. Yeah. And a score? Um, hmm. I'm going to give this a 7.5. I like it, okay. but it's got quite a fat neck. No, it's cool. And we're saying it's not a telly. Can I be clear on that? But it's That's not a Fender Telecaster That's at all. That's all I'm, I'm asking. Sure, I'm 100% okay, sure of that. Fine. Fine. Here is your third weapon. <laughs> Woo! Uh, there, there. For sake. Turn this off, sorry. Without reassuring twang. Uh, different pickup, more game. Yeah, different pickup. Like? Uh, give me some game. Tune, um, so it's a little bit compromised, but I'm going to say this is quite a high end Fender Telly. I blame either Rabir or Chris. I think probably Chris tuned that one. Should we blame him? Uh, yeah, I right. wouldn't blame anybody, it just, it, it's got a really nice feeling neck. A high end Telly, <sighs> nice neck. Yeah, it's really, it's glossy, which I don't normally like, but the profile's really nice. It's yeah. kind of thin. Uh, giving this a score, and is it a telly or not? I think it's a telly. And I'm going to say, I'm going to give this 8.5. Thank you. Okay, let's move on. 
to numero quattro. Quattro? Quattro? Which one? I never always get that wrong. Get that, uh... Um... Change the pickup. Oh, sorry, I thought you said change the plectrum. I was going to go hello. <laughs> there we are. Neck. Game. Game. Chapman. first because this is a brand new one and the ones that I play at home are not and I've, I've, I've realised the ones I'm playing are prototypes but you can't mistake the sound of the pickups this is a Chapman. Well so uh, you got anything else you want to add to that? I mean uh, can I clarify a score and also you know the ultimate this question is, the, is it a telly or not? It's not a Telecaster it's a Chapman MR3 and obviously, if I score it, I'm just going to get hatred for saying that I like my own brand, but obviously nine. <laughs> no, that's fair enough. Uh, who knows? Assuming, of course, that you're right. Hoosh! For <laughs> sake. That's really nice and warm. Wow. I'm guessing these are either stacked or these are uh, hummies because... Of course I can, sir. Yes. There we are. Oh, that's a massive humbucker. <laughs> it feels like he's got a compound neck. I don't think it's a Fender. So, not a Fender. Uh, I like it. But it's there's something not quite right ab about it for me, so I'm going to give this a seven point six. I like it, but not quite six. You haven't had any gain yet with it. More okay, give me, give me gain then. <laughs> PRS tally. Good shout on adding the, the game because it's it's really brought it to life. Oh, have you? You've, you've trying to change your score, are you? You were yeah. seven point six. Yeah. Really, it really works with the game, so it's got to be. I think it's a more modern brand. I haven't got a clue what it is, but I'm going to give it an eight. Great. 
Okay. It went up in my uh, estimation. But we're still saying we're still saying you don't think it's a telly. I don't think it's a Fender. Okay. Well, yeah, the Fender is Telecaster. If it's not a Fender, it can't be a telly. Truth. Just saying. Just like if it's not a Strat, it can't be a Strat. <laughs> if it's not a Fender, sorry, it can't be a bit like a Strat, but with someone else's headstock on it, it physically just has to be a Fender. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Just fan those flames. Fan them. Number six. Uh, boom. Oh. Interesting. This is great. You want the front pickup? Oh, I'm um, sorry. That feels great though. Well, that just sounds like a Fender Telecaster. It just, it's got that kind of twangy, spanky. So not familiar with the scale length. Uh, uh, neck pickup and gain, please. Okay. Fender, and I don't know what it is, but I like you don't it. Have to, you just have to give it a score. I'm going to give it a score of 7.5. Perfect. <sighs> okay. Uh, number seven, or as Len Goodman says, seven! <laughs> <laughs> it's the Friedman I played half an hour ago. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Uh, neck pickup and some game, uh, other pickup and some game, please. Game. Beautiful guitar. I, I give it. I give it an, uh, an eight point nine. Eight point nine, and <laughs> you're just. I'm giving you one last opportunity to redeem yourself. Are you saying it's a telly or not a telly? It's not a telly. It's, okay. it's the Friedman. Not a telly. <laughs> <laughs> <For sake. laughs> offend anyone but you can feel the frets a little bit just a touch especially up here oh 
Uh, again, please, and leave it on this pickup. <laughs> So this is an affordable guitar. It sounds great. It just has the feel of an affordable guitar. And I reckon it's either like a Yamaha maybe if they, if they do a really affordable thing. Although I've never seen a Yamaha T-Type. Or have I? <laughs> Different pickup. <laughs> you take the gain off. Mm. Pickup, so um, it's a, it's a potluck on the on the brand. I don't think it's a Telecaster. I don't think it's I don't think it's a Fender. I don't know what it is. It's it's cheap. Okay, I'm just scribbling this down furiously, Rob. Okay, <coughs> uh, and Mark, please, out of ten, um, like a six point four. Like it, it sounds good and it plays fine. It's just I can feel the frets a little bit and it just feels a little bit affordable. You don't have to justify anything. You can just kiss goodbye feel, to your free PRS. That's cool. <laughs> I, feel, <laughs> I feel like I do. <laughs> what? I didn't know there was another one. This is the last one. Uh, you are on the bridge pickup with no game. You just, just that B string. Just a little bit more. This is lovely. in me is saying it's not a Fender, but I think, you know, I want to believe it's a Fender. This is the best one. This one is the best one. Okay. That's so, a big statement to so make. You're because gonna, I mean, a, so, right, so, we, so I've got, this is lovely, it's really great, this is the best one. Well, <laughs> you, and then I need a score and a whether you think it's a telly or not and anything else you want to add to it. Oh like, I don't God. know, why is it the best one? I mean, okay, I think this is, I think this is a Fender. I think this is the best Fender. I think we make great Fenders. 
Other people don't. So sad. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I just if you were gonna if this if I hope this is a fan and if it is, I think it's really great, and I give it a nine point two. Fantastic. Okay. Um, well, it's, it's if I really, can just, really nice. If I can like, just take that, uh, if I can separate you from, uh, if I can separate this from you, and then we can do. I, the... I kind of want this guitar. Ah, there I we go. I haven't even seen it, so I will sell it to you. Uh, <laughs> although you can now take your goggles off and realise that uh, I may <sighs> have, you may have to fight a Danish Viking if you wanted that last one. Oh really? Uh, yes. Is it yours? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, that's so funny. Yet again. Oh. In, Hold on, I, I'm, I'm not kidding you. I'm sitting in a room here with... Was it that one? I'm sitting in a room here that's with Danish lovely. Pete behind the camera, Rabir doing the audio, <sighs> me. Between the three of us, we must have over 80 years playing experience. And yet, <sighs> not one of us... Did I get them all wrong? No, you get them all right. It's yeah! just like... I just don't understand. It's like every time we blindfold you and give you guitars, you just go, oh, it's this, it's this, it's this. And it's just like, we're all looking at each other going, I don't understand. So anyway, they're literally in order behind me. So the first Ooh, one, you said, it. the first one was a Fender Mexican Standard Telly. So for you guys out there, um, I'll put links to all these in the description below. Uh, these sell for five or six hundred pounds from memory. And you've gone happy, uh, happy as I am. Happy as I am? That doesn't make any sense. I'm happy as I am. Defo Offender. Um, it was uh, lovely. It was lovely. That's and you gave that 8.3. That's the that, Mexican that's one. That's that one, the Mexican one. Uh, <coughs> the next one. Wait, wait, wait. So that's just, that is literally about as bog standard as we could get. Um, that's really good. As far as Fenders go. Uh, the second one uh, was an ESP LTD oh, Ronnie Wood. Oh, right. Uh, signature telly. With the it's a bizarre signature telly because I don't think I've ever seen Ronnie Wood playing it. But anyway, I and then you cares. said, doesn't really feel like a Fender. Uh, it's definitely got a humbucker. It's, it's definitely got a, not a telly. A, a U-neck. Yeah, you said it's definitely not a telly, uh, and it's either <coughs> ESP or Schecter. Uh, so, you, you, you know, anyway, so 7.5 you gave that. The third one, you, uh, it's quite a classic you said vibe. it's quite a high end telly, nice neck. Uh, kind of thin, uh, it's a telly, and you gave it an 8.5, which is a really high score. Was that the one with the um, uh, neck profile that changed? No, uh, I've got that written down somewhere a bit 8. later 8.5 on. for a classic So mic. you gave that a big score. Wow. The next one, Chapman ML3 Pro. I don't understand how you get these every single time, but I guess you designed them, so that would be why. And again, you've given it a high score, and we know that uh, this is just Rob's I mean, preference. I mean, that, that score is just, it's a nominal high score. I know. Discount it's, it from everything we're yeah, doing. Because... Forget it. I, I'm only putting Chapman guitars in these thing in the desperate <coughs> hope that one day Rob will go, it's a piece of shit, Squire, or something like that. <laughs> anyway. Um, well, no, because in the script you said that number four would be oh, yeah, the chat. I did. Yeah, so yeah, that's right. what it was. Uh, yeah. the, the fifth one, the fifth one, which you might start. That was a G and L. Well, let's let's give them each their glory. So that was the that was the beautiful Chapman. Yeah. Um, ooh. Then we went G and L tribute, which again is another affordable uh, guitar, similar kind of money, I think, to the to Mexican Strat, or a little bit less. And you said nice and warm. It's got a humbucker. You thought it had a compound radius fretboard, which I don't believe it does. But I do, from memory, if I remember, these are a flatter radius yeah. than a normal telly. Uh, you like it, but it's not quite right, is what you said. <coughs> and you said it's not a telly, and you gave it you gave it an eight, though. When you say it's not quite, quite right, do you mean not quite The neck wasn't the right kind of shape for me. It's a little right. bit big for me. Okay. I've got girly hands. Girly hands, my lord! Um, then we went with... Okay, then What's we got the... Then we got the, the sort of effectively the American professional telly, which is what took over from the American standard telly. So again, should be like, you know, the original telly. And you just said, interesting, this is great. Just sounds like a Fender. Not familiar with the scale length, which was a bit bizarre. Yeah, I found myself being thrown out by the scale length. But then you didn't mark it very high and you gave it a 7.5. Um, but, which I suppose is still a good score, still seven and a half out of ten. I think it's probably because the setup, the action's really high. Like, if you look at that. Where's the ten pounds? Did I literally say Rob would comment on that? Only, uh, this, only this one guitar. I know, I said that literally before, oh, we, before we started doing this. I said we probably should restring it and set it up. But yes, hey, it's whatever. it's pretty high action. Um, <laughs> but Number seven is, yes, 
uh, annoyingly was <laughs> the Friedman that you went. It's the Friedman I played half an hour ago, which of course, it, I don't know what order these videos will come out in, but on the assumption that, yes, Rob is right. The video we shot before this one was this guitar. Uh, that is a fantastic And you guitar. gave this an 8.9. Yeah, so this, great. this was a very high scoring guitar. Yeah. Uh, and it's expensive as well, so I guess that's re reassuringly expensive. <sighs> then, and again, you'd think we had scripted this. The cheapest one of the lot is the Squire Contemporary HH Telly. This is the one that you went, huh? F I can feel the frets. What Rob means is you can feel the, the frets. I mean, it's so marginal, but there you go, you can feel them. And you went, it's an affordable guitar. It might be a Yamaha. You said it had quite good pickups, but you didn't think it was a Telly, not a Fender. Uh, it's cheap. Uh, which it is. It's relatively well, relatively cheap. It's you got a six point four, and I guess it is. Is it a, is it a telly? I mean, it's Squire. It's allowed to be a telly. So yeah. if you got one wrong, potentially it I was didn't that think one. it. I didn't think it was a Squire. Uh, and then lastly, right, and Pete, how much do you, you want? You completely right. Uh, this is the best Telecaster. It's unreal. It's not only the best Telecaster <coughs> out of these eight or nine. Sorry, it's just the best Telecaster ever. Um, and you said, this is lovely, it's really great, this is the best one, it's a Fender, 9.2. And for those of you out there, this is the guitar that Pete and I um, have specced more of. So if you go and look for a video, I think something like probably the best tellies we've ever heard or something like that. Um, so it's, it's effectively a sort of a slightly modded 52 Telecaster from the custom shop. It's really, it's just really nice. monstrous. Yeah. So look, I mean, what can I say other than one day we will get you to say something utterly embarrassing and ridiculous, but alas, it is not today. Um, well, can, we, can, we, can I make a decision then that the next time we do this, it has to be you blindfolded? I've been blindfolded and I make a fool of myself almost every single one. Um, what haven't we like done do yet? We've done, we've, done, <laughs> we've done strats and tellies. We, did we do less pulls with you? Yeah. We did yeah. less pulls. Uh, I mean, we haven't really done, haven't done acoustics. Uh, not really our bag, is it? Um, we'll think of something. Pardon me? I like to do that. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Another, uh, you know, there we go. I Yay! Just, what can I say? He's done it again. Well done, Mr Chapman. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you guys for watching. It's been another two-day slog uh, of making videos that I hope of you love. Of stopping thieves. Yes, au revoir. See you later. <laughs>、hey、everybody, thanks for watching the Andertons Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting, and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a T-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel. Click here. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.